Hello all, uh, welcome to my new series. Uh, this new series I would like to introduce a couple of technologies to, uh, to the audience. The first technology which I'm going to introduce is called TensorFlow Extender, uh, which is going to be very useful uh, for all the data scientists and uh, data science engineers. Uh, it is going to help everybody in addressing some of the non uh, pain points in deploying and developing uh, machine learning application and would like to put maybe it in a scalable deployment fashion. So let's see what uh, what is tensor for extended uh, is offering to us. So if you look into any any IT organization today, everywhere you can see at least one machine learning uh, project running, or or if you look at it in a very broader picture, any imaginable IT system is going to be equipped with a machine learning component or a data science component in it. Either it is a canned solution or a custom solution built in it. The key problems, the key challenges now the IT architects uh, face is the deployment rather than development. The development, deployment, maintenance on all of these aspects of machine learning platform is one of the key challenges which IT architects are facing right now. Technically, it requires orchestration of various IT components, the, the teamwork of various IT teams together to make it happen and grand success and make it a scalable platform. In this teamwork, we have to involve DevOps or the so-called AOPS, database engineers, IT support, infrastructure professionals, everybody. And if you take a very close look into what is happening in this IT application or uh, uh, machine learning in an IT application, we can see that a lot of glue code components are being used together to build, stitch together and build a platform where it is getting deployed um, with any kind of a modern deployment solution such as containers or, or API systems. In pure IT terms, the, uh, this, these glue codes are going to acquire some sort of a technical draft which may be very, very difficult to settle in future if you don't address the glue code and the technical depth problem uh, in the very first day we think about deploying a machine learning platform or a machine learning application. After we build and deploy a machine learning model, there are other operational challenges which we are going to face. The IT system, the underlying IT system, or the underlying data may be so organic. Um, sometimes the data distribution which we use to build the model changes. The customer behavior, the end user behavior changes. So the prediction, the input, everything must start drifting. Now you may need to rerun your experiments and rebuild the model. So how can we effectively come to the same stage? in a very fast and agile manner without breaking the knees and without doing a lot of firefighting. These are all, all the all the pain points which all the all the typical questions any customer will ask to an AI architect or a machine learning architect who is going to deploy a machine learning oriented platform in 2019, 2020 and going forward. Is there a single platform which can address this problem, which can help uh, engineers to start leverage uh, and address this problem. Obviously, if you look into the commercial solutions such as Microsoft, the uh, Azure platforms, or uh, Amazon, so SageMaker platform, or Google's platform, they give some of these facilities inbuilt. But beyond that, whenever we go for like customized open source platform, we have to think very carefully as we have to uh, do additional development on it. Uh, and uh, we are living in an era like uh, where we see like TensorFlow and T 
estate planning it shows a lot of potential and IT is adopting uh, day planning based solution which potentially might have built on top of a TensorFlow platform or Keras plus TensorFlow combination uh, and it, it may be started conquering the minds of uh, the users or, and, and the business of business usage or the end users to get it. The maintenance of that, how that can happen, all these things needs to be addressed and that is why uh, the TensorFlow extended platform is now coming into picture. So let's look into, into the scenario, why uh, and how it, it exactly looks and how exactly it fits into the into a IT application scenario. So uh, the, 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 the data science journey always starts with the data ignition, we perform data analysis, the data transformation, so feature engineering, feature selection, validation of the data, train and model value itself. Then, then, then after serving, like you start monitoring it, and then you come back again, club everything into pipeline, come back again, and you start rebuilding. On top of that, we always need to create a configuration framework, and we need to have management, monitoring, logging, evaluation, output visualization, all lot of things. This is this is going to be a complete IT system which we are talking about when we are putting a machine learning into into production. So. Uh, multiple framework is what we adopt today. Multiple framework, com uh, like combined by different loop codes, or taking some of the some of the uh, frameworks like uh, containers, or developing um, custom built APIs or backdrops. All have these different ways of, of of achieving this this kind of orchestration. Is there a better way to do that? Starting from the experimentation stage to continuously uh, deploy it and monitor the input drift is where the, the TensorFlow extender started addressing it. So this particular diagram, uh, I adopted this for my 2017 uh, paper published by Google uh, about TensorFlow extender. So the very concept of TensorFlow extender was presented in the 2017 TDD Cup by uh, a bunch of uh, Google researchers. Uh, saying that we are going to address this problem and we are building a platform and all these things they announced in 2007. A uh, full fledged practical general available solution was made available uh, uh, somewhere in April, May, so time um, uh, by Google, along with the Google conference up in San Francisco and the announcement of TensorFlow 2 pilot series. So they released this platform. It's quite an end, it's quite uh, people have just started looking into this platform, um, uh, platform as of now. So let's let's take a like closer look on like what are the key challenges in this addressing. I think we iterated that, but uh, let's like let's double take and zoom some of these aspects in, in little detail. So for example, one platform and many learning tasks. For example, we use TensorFlow for all our machine learning needs, but we work with different types of use cases. We work with time series, you work with um, IoT data, you work with image data, you work with um, text data, you work with streams, but you have only one platform. And uh, you are, you're living in a so organic world, your data seems to be changing, your customer behavior seems to be changing as you put more, more and more smarter platform. So you need to do continuous training and continuous serving of this model. Maybe at a point of time, you may be looking into reinforcement learning also. And there's a lot of human in the loop action going on in the back. And the key question uh, that the IT team is going to ask you as a, um, uh, as a platform engineer is, is that the uh, reliability and scalability, the production rate, reliability and scalability of the machine learning solution needs to be done. So these are the key challenges TensorFlow Extender is addressing. So what is TensorFlow Extender? How Google defines it and how they advertise it in the open source project. This is, this, as I said, it's a complete open source project as like the uh, same TensorFlow platform released in the Apache license. So uh, it's open for commercial implementation um, uh, or implementation there. And they call it as a production scale machine learning platform. So 
when somebody says my platform is production scale that means it's going to help save the life uh, of, of, uh, of many people uh, to, to solve their problems in practice so the capabilities of the, the, the key capabilities of it is, is, is needed uh, in those library to integrate the common components required to define launch and, and monitor and retrain a machine learning system in scale so and moreover that it can now integrate with the modern IT system modern level of systems like Kubernetes or Apache Beam, Airflow and the underlying container platforms so so if you look at us at all and it's going to give you all the spices and nuts and bolts required to bring everything and, and if you adopt this in the Windows day one of your, your machine learning um, journey you are going to achieve uh, an easy journey in, in, in development deployment and managing your machine learning platform um, uh, platform start, start um, starting the day one of you finalize the best, best model for you that's that's a, that's a proposition or that's a, that's a uh, uh, the value add this platform is offering to us as of now. So I am going to make this as a the hands-on session. So obviously this is our uh, first session about what is this platform. I'm not going to make any any hands-on this one, but uh, going forward all the lecture materials such as uh, presentations and everything will be made available in my big bucket repository all the code notebook example where to find the data what to do all of these small instructions and everything will be posted uh, in the github to uh, github uh, tutorial repository you can check it out and you can keep watching those repository for for my upcoming um, lectures and associated material so let's Let's try to uh, make it more uh, more more an interactive experience to understand in in depth. Okay. So thank you very much for listening and encouraging. Stay tuned. So I'll be coming up with uh, successive videos on, on on the platform again, again. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for uh, for listening. Bye.